Emma Watson is considered one of the most recognizable faces in the globe and also one of the most famous women. Most of you probably know her from the Harry Potter franchise as the strong-willed, hard-working, quick-thinking, and determined Hermione Granger. This role skyrocketed her to global fame at the age of 11, but since then Emma has also worked on other films and she's also a committed activist. Watson inspired us through her on-screen character. For girls and boys, she made clever the new cool. She demonstrated that girls can be as tough as boys, that hard work pays off, and that if you persevere at something, your dreams will come true. So if you want to know more about her story, then stay tuned for the story of Emma Watson here for you on Famous Life. Emma Charlotte Dwyer Watson was born on April 15, 1990 in Paris, France to British parents Jacqueline and Chris, both lawyers who were living in Paris at the time of Emma's birth. She has a younger brother, Alex, who was born on December 15, 1992 in Paris, France, just like herself. Emma lived in France until the age of five when her parents divorced and returned to the United Kingdom. Emma was raised by her mother in Oxford while each parent had since remarried. Emma ended up with not only a stepfather but two stepbrothers and on her father's side, she has a younger half-brother, Toby, born in 2003, and half-sisters, identical twins, Lucy and Nina, born in 2004. Emma attended the Dragon School, a renowned prep school in Oxford, between September 1995 in July 2001. She then went on to attend Headington School, a private all-girls school, between 2001 and 2006. Emma was a star student at school, brilliant at academics, much like Hermione, her character in the movies, and was interested in playing field hockey, netball, and tennis, skiing, painting, cooking, singing, and dancing. But from the age of six, Emma knew that she wanted to be an actress, and for a number of years, she trained at the Stagecoach Theater Arts, a part-time theater school where she studied singing, dancing, and acting. By the age of 10, Emma had performed and taken the lead in various Stagecoach productions, and also appeared in a couple of school plays. Her teachers suggested that she should try out auditioning for the film adaptation of British author J.K. Rowling's best-selling novel, for the role of Harry's best friend, Hermione Granger. Well, she auditioned for the role eight times, and while right from the audition, she won the heart of the author herself, J.K. Rowling, it was the producer, David Heyman, who told Emma and her co-stars they had been cast as the leads. Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, and Ron Weasley. This was when her life would turn completely as she became one of the most recognized and bankable Hollywood stars. As a child actress, fame can be difficult to navigate. However, Watson demonstrated that despite her celebrity status, she could also stay grounded and not let it get to her head. She left Dragon School in 2003, and as a result of her busy filming schedules, she was tutored for her GCSC exams for over five hours a day. She finally cleared her GCSC examinations the following year, earning straight A's. She completed her schooling education while playing Hermione and then also her higher education at Oxford and Brown Universities, alongside her acting career. Watson is an inspiration for that alone. She's managed to juggle fame and the real world and keep them in balance, but we'll talk about that later. The release of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in 2001 was Emma's cinematic screen debut. The film broke records for opening day sales and opening weekend takings and was the highest grossing film of 2001. Critics praised the film and the performances of the three leading young actors. Later, Emma was nominated for five awards for her performance in the film, winning the Young Artist Award for Leading Young Actress in a Feature Film. After the release of the first movie of the highly successful franchise, Emma became one of the most well-known actresses. She continued to play the role of Hermione for nearly 10 years in all of the following Harry Potter films. Emma acquired two Critics' Choice Award nominations from the Broadcast Film Critics Association for her work in the Harry Potter series. Though she was eager to portray Hermione, she committed to the role when she was only nine. As Watson aged, she began to question whether or not she had the right temperament to be an actor. In an interview with Vanity Fair, she opened up about examining if she was in the right job. She stated, I've been doing this since I was 10 or 11 and I've often thought I'm so wrong for this job because I'm too serious, I'm a pain in the ass, I'm difficult, I don't fit. 
But as I've got older, I've realized no, taking on those battles, the smaller ones and the bigger ones is who I am. While some people may be surprised to know an actor as successful as Watson questioned her career, it makes total sense. When she committed to be an actor, she had no idea exactly what it entailed, but we're sure her millions of loyal fans are all too pleased she decided that acting was still the right path for her. Since then, Watson starred in a number of other films. She was cast in the film adaptation of The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which released in 2012, for which she won a couple of awards. In summer 2013, Emma starred in Sofia Coppola's film The Bling Ring. And in 2014, Emma was seen in Darren Aronofsky's Noah opposite Russell Crowe, Jennifer Connelly, and Anthony Hopkins. A year later, Emma starred in Regression, and she was also seen in a smaller film, The Tale of the Despero. Aside from acting, she is also forayed into modeling, determined to show her talent and versatility and not to just be seen as Hermione. She'd modeled for Burberry and Lancome, becoming actively involved with the fair trade fashion brand People Tree. Watson also studied at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island from 2009 to 2014, earning a degree in English literature and discovering her passion for activism. She said, I got famous very young and Brown gave me a safe zone where I could figure things out without people projecting onto me their ideas of what they wanted me to be or thought I should be. She was back on the big screen as Belle in Disney's Beauty and the Beast, the big budget live action musical which broke records for the most viewed new movie trailer with 127 million views in its first 24 hours, beating Fifty Shades Darker record. Little Woman is the last film that Emma worked on, based on the novel where Emma plays the role of Margaret March and it was released in December 2019. Back in February 2021, rumors began swirling that Watson was retiring from acting. This came after she hadn't posted on social media for a lengthy amount of time. Her Instagram bio revealed that her page was dormant and not being updated. This caused some media sources to report that Watson's career was dormant as well. Considering she's been acting for two decades, fans never believed the day would come when she would take a step back from it. So they were unnerved by the news. Some even begged Watson to not retire from acting. The rumors got so intense that Watson actually broke her social media hiatus to address them. On her Twitter, she penned a note to fans sharing she had no plans to quit acting. Dear fans, rumors about whether I'm engaged or not, whether my career is dormant or not, are ways to create clicks each time they're revealed to be true or untrue. If I have news, I promise I'll share it with you. The accomplished actor, humanitarian, and graduate of Brown University is also a strong woman who wants to be known for good reasons. That's why she's determined about empowering women on screen, because she's a feminist activist off screen. The British actress touched new heights when she was appointed as UN Women's Goodwill Ambassador in July 2014. She helped launch the campaign He For She, which calls for men to advocate gender equality, and at just 24 years of age, she'd already been involved in the promotion of girls' education for several years. Emma's worked to promote fair trade and organic clothing, and served as an ambassador for CAMFED International, a movement to educate girls in rural Africa. She has declared, being asked to serve as UN Women's Goodwill Ambassador is truly humbling. The chance to make a real difference is not an opportunity that everyone is given, and is one I have no intention of taking lightly. Women's rights are something so inextricably linked with who I am, so deeply personal and rooted in my life that I can't imagine an opportunity more exciting. I still have so much to learn, but as I progress, I hope to bring more of my individual knowledge, experience, and awareness to this role. Recently, Watson appears in the new HBO special Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Return to Hogwarts, which saw the iconic film's cast reunite to reminisce about the eight movies and share previously unheard stories. Emma Watson has shown her versatility as a performer and become a source of inspiration for many women. She's a smart individual with beauty and intelligence whose focus and hard work have made her achieve success and we can't wait to see what she does next. Thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.